Welcome to my organizational behavior playlist. Today we will see the scope of OB. So let's see first of all the question that can be asked in the examination. Explain the scope of organizational behavior. The weightage can be 4 marks. So let's start with the scope of organizational behavior. OB is actually a field of study that investigates the impact that individuals, groups and structure have on behavior within organizations. For the purpose of applying such knowledge towards improving an organization's effectiveness. So this is actually we can say the importance of the OB. So very simple, OB is actually the field of study that investigates the impact of individuals, group and structure within the organizations. And what is the purpose of this study? To apply such knowledge towards improving an organization's effectiveness. The scope of OB involves three levels of behavior in organizations. First, individuals. Second, groups and third one structure so here you can see these are actually the three scope of the ob individuals groups and structure now let's see briefly these three important levels first one individuals it is the study of individuals personality learning attitudes motivation and job satisfaction so from this point you can understand these all are actually the individual characteristics that's why it is considered in individual behavior in this study we interact with others in order to study about them and make our perceptions about them so this is actually the objective of the individual behavior so basically in individual behavior, we interact with others. Why? The purpose is to study about them and make our perceptions about them. Next example, the personal interview round is conducted to interact with candidates to check their skills apart from those mentioned in the resume. So this is really a very good example because of you know that the personal interview is actually to interact with the candidates to check their skills apart from those mentioned in the resume. Next one, group behavior. It is the study conducted through communication between the employees among themselves as well as their subordinates, understanding people's leadership qualities, group dynamics, group conflicts, power and politics. So these all properties are actually related to the group. That's why it is called as the group behavior. Example, a meeting to decide list of new board members. So once again, this is actually the group behavior because of the meeting having number of people so that is called as actually the group to decide list of new board members in short it is a way how a group behaves with the other group or within the group example strike rally etc now see in group behavior we are going to study this different approach work groups and group dynamics, dynamics of conflict, communication, leadership and at last moral. So this is about the group behavior. Now the last one, organizational structure. Structure defines the sole relationship of people in an organization. Different people in an organization 
are given different rules and they have certain relationship with each other also. It leads to division of labor so that people can perform their duties or work to accomplish the organization goal or you can say to achieve the organizational goal. Thus, everybody cannot be an accountant or a clerk. But work is actually complex and different duties are to be performed by the different people. That's why actually organizational structure is required to give the duties or to share the duties in the organization so that each people in an organization can understand their roles and with the help of that structure they have certain relationship with the others. So that you can say organization structure leads to organizational climate, next organizational culture, next organizational change, next organizational effectiveness and at last organizational development. At last you can say summary for scope of organizational behavior. You can see in this figure. For the individuals these are the individual characteristics. So you can say in the individual behavior we are going to study these personal characteristics and in group behaviors we are going to study the teamwork, group dynamics etc. And in organizational structure, we study organization design and job design. If you have any doubt, then write in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.